Hello. After listening to our speech, the audience will get a grasp at how pollution is affecting the wildlife and nature around us. They will also be introduced to an easy solution that we in our own communities can help out to end pollution. I've carefully considered my audience to be the age groups around 19 to 25. I have considered how it might be very diverse. They might have busy schedules uh, and on, so on. Our project was called Let's End Pollution. What is pollution, you might ask? Pollution is the introduction of harmful, if not poisonous, substances to our environment. It can take the form of water, air, or land pollution, affecting millions of people and wildlife each year. Why is this important, you might ask? Well, animals can ingest this pollution that's in our parks, around our ponds, around our lakes, and then it can lead to death. They're suffering the consequences of pollution, and we must act as soon as possible. Some concerning facts, you might ask. Parker, 2019, from National Geographic states, Every year, about 8 million tons of plastic waste escapes into the oceans from coastal nations. That's the equivalent of setting five garbage bags full of trash on every foot of the coastline around the world. Another fact. About 700 species around the world, including endangered ones, are affected by plastic pollution, causing the death of millions of animals each year. A New York Times article wrote, The evidence of pollution's dangers is powerful. It is linked not just to breathing problems, but also to increased rates of heart attacks, strokes, cancer, dementia, premature birth, and much more. Those who live with polluted air are much likely, more likely to die prematurely. So what can we do about this? So my partner and I, we decided, why don't we start a nonprofit, apply for grants to get money to reward people for helping out. We get people to come and clean up our parks. It, it will start off really small, but with the thing was, is people are so busy with their schedules that it's hard for everybody to volunteer as much as they want. So what we're going to do is create an incentivized reward program where they come, they get rewards, they get paid for their time, and they're doing something good. Why will our solution be more effective? People are very busy, and even if they want to, some people don't have time to sacrifice to volunteer as much as needed. Due to not having enough money, they have to spend their time at work, especially people in our age group. When we will incentivize their time with prizes and money as rewards, not only will you be helping your community, but there will be something in it for you too. There's some potential challenges we face though. Getting federal grants is one of them. Organization within the nonprofit and spreading the word. So how do we overcome these challenges? Well, me and my partner, uh, we figured out that grants do not have to be the only type of funding. As a nonprofit organization, we're allowed to fundraise for our program from people who believe in it. And we believe that this is a great idea and the community will back it and donate to us. We'll, once we get funding, we will be able to employ people full time to run and operate the organization by paying them a salary. We will also start in one community and stretch out as we get bigger. Using community articles, social media, and signs, we can have a very loud presence in each community, and as more people get involved, there will be an exponential growth.